So these are the actions from the heats earlier on. Marie Jose Tarlou in the orange in the centre got out extremely well. Chased home by Amani Lansico of Great Britain. They were the one and two automatic qualifiers who made it through to this final. Kwai also going through, finishing in third position. But Talu again, extremely consistent. And this was the second of the semi-finals with Svoboda and Skippers in the central lanes. And Svoboda with that trademark strong start. And Skippers with an equally, I guess, trademark strong finish. And they were the one and two taking the automatic spots in this women's 60 metres final. Which is our next track event here. So just after half past seven local time, wherever you're watching us, around Europe, around the world, very warm welcome to Dusseldorf. Myself, Chris Temple and Jenny Meadows with you as we meet the athletes for the final of the women's 60 metres, which is a scoring event, don't forget, but Svoboda has it sewn up as Seidlover just loses her bearing slightly, forgets where the start of the 60 metres is. Clara Seidlover, fourth in her heat, takes lane one. We go one to eight here. Lisa Marie Kwai, the German champion, 7.32 in her heat which has got her one of the outside lanes. Guyan Evans, who's about to relinquish officially her IAAF World Indoor Tour title from two years ago when this event was last a scoring one. She has lane two after a 7.34 performance in the heat. Jamila Samuel, 7.34, she ran in the heat for the Netherlands. European 200 metres bronze medalist. And here is our champion, can't be caught, Eva Svoboda, 7.08. That time she set in the heats in Karlsruhe in the first leg of this tour. She's just seen Kambunji of Switzerland tie it in the Swiss National Championships. Can Svoboda go outright world leader again? Imani Lansico of Great Britain. 21 years of age, an up-and-coming British sprint talent. She has lane six. And the last two lanes will be filled by already two very decorated international global stars. Marie-José Talu, multiple major championship silver medalist over the last couple of years. She has lane four. 7.14 in her heat. The fastest time in the world this year. And last to emerge from the tunnel, Daphne Skippers, the double world 200 metres champion and the newly crowned Dutch champion over 60 metres, building up towards the European indoors. Skippers, the last to head to the start line in the centre of the Arena Sport Park here in Dusseldorf and the women's 60 metres finals. Svoboda, remember, unbeaten so far this year. But Skippers and Talu coming into this to certainly with the form to challenge her, Jenny Bellows. Yeah, both of those athletes coming in with personal best. Skippers 718 from the Dutch Championships of the weekend and Mary Jose Talu from the 714 about 45 minutes ago. Yep, so. And Svoboda has been used to having lanes four and five uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks since she's been in this fine form. She finds herself in three here. Just the second fastest in the heats earlier on. Talu with that 7.14 was the fastest qualifier. The women's 60 metre final. Away first time, good start in lane two from Evans, and now Svoboda into her running, and Talu outside her, it's Svoboda and Talu, and Talu coming through to take it, and Marie Jose Talu, 7-0-1, a world-leading time for the Ivorian, what a performance from the world indoor silver medalist, she is absolutely delighted, she's on top of the world rankings, and she has taken the 60 metres crown here in Dusseldorf. Her reaction from the blocks was superb, and we've not seen anyone get out faster than Saboda all season, and she took half a metre out of her in the first metre alone, rounded up to 7.02, to six hundredths of a second, which is a massive distance um, over 60 metres, better than the next fastest person in the world, and she is delighted with that. Well, her times have been going in the right direction, that is for sure. 7.16 in Torrent, 7.15 in a meeting in France, 7.15 at the weekend, 7.14 in the heat earlier, and now 7.02 officially. Mare Jose Talou, and from her reaction, she wasn't expecting it to be even that good. She yeah, got a flyer. She, she did get a flyer, and sometimes she could just never recreate that. So Boda ran extremely well. I'm sure she's run a fantastic time as well. And you can see that there's actual, you know, big margin between herself and Skippers in third position. And Skippers ran incredibly well as well. But that reaction from the gun, you know, the race was over after 
one, two meters. And, uh, you know, it just leaves the boda just wondering what could she do about it? And the answer is you can't do anything about it when an athlete just gets a reaction like that. Well, we, of course, uh, World Lee, we get up on the, uh, the scoreboard here in our computer and in the arena as well. But alongside that, it's a meeting record for Murray Jose Tolu. And it is a lifetime best indoors as well, which explains uh, extreme enthusiasm. Confirmation there, WL World Lee for Talu, 7.02 in the best performance of her career, surpassing her 7.05. Svoboda 7.10 in second and Skipper's 7.19 in third, but it's Svoboda's title overall as a result of some great performances. There's confirmation of that. And Talu with the 10 points there lifts herself above Skipper's to finish in second position. £3,000, by the way, uh, $3, by the way, on the night for the uh, the winner as well. So whilst Svoboda has taken the, the big pot for the overall title, Talu, as well as a personal best, a meeting.